loves and welcome to today's video. If you've not seen me before, my name is Victoria. Welcome, good to have you here. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and leave a comment if you do enjoy this video. Um, today I'm back with an ASOS haul. I have gone on a shopping rampage thanks to quarantine. I have just been non-stop, like literally I've been buying clothes, furniture, household items. I've literally just not stopped. It's a problem at this point but I get content out of it so it's fine I get to show you guys some really gorgeous pieces so I don't feel too bad about it I'm honestly this is probably the best haul I have ever done in my life I will of course link everything in the description so if you do see something you like just head down to the description and the links will be there for you guys to go shop the pieces but I'm not going to ramble on I'm going to get straight into it because I have got a lot of items to get through and this is a try on haul so I don't want it to be too long so to start with what you can see there's a little top shop box here um I've got a few pairs of shoes the first ones being these absolutely stunning blue croc heels they're absolutely gorgeous they are so quirky and different i just think they are beautiful i think they're a really gorgeous pair of shoes and they're so different and obviously the pastels are really in at the minute these like baby blue lighter colors are so in they were 42 pounds i got them in a size four i love the fact that the heel is like not a regular shape i love the straps i love the color i love the croc i think it looks really really expensive they are absolutely stunning i just really really love these shoes there's something really different in my wardrobe and if you know me you'll know that i love quirky shoes so these are like Oh my god i just love them the color of them is just absolutely stunning and obviously pastels are really in right now baby blues baby yellows baby pinks purples light greens i think these are just absolutely gorgeous and such a must for right now just look at them they're so cute and they feel so well made they just oh they feel gorgeous the next pair of shoes i've actually worn a few times and these are the asos own brand shoes and they are these absolutely divine wedges they are absolutely stunning they really remind me of the castana is that how you say it castana wedges they're very 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 similar but at a fraction of the price i think these are about 30 pounds um the castana wedges ones are about 100 pound i tried to get them all last year i couldn't get my hands on them i couldn't find them anywhere they were completely sold out and i i had I'd actually kind of forgotten about them and then I bought these on ASOS and I was like, they really remind me of a shoe that I wanted. Look at that piece of hair. Is that annoying anyone else? Got them and I was like, they really remind me of something. And I realized it was those. These are such good quality. They're so well made. I love the ribbon. It makes your legs look so pretty and like dainty and feminine. I just absolutely adore them. They're so comfortable. They're not too high as you can see. They're just the perfect summer shoe. I love a good wedge. Um, I feel like they're the, just the perfect shoes to be wearing, especially like say you went to Paris. Not that I was going to be doing that this year. If you went to Paris and you wore these, they'd just be like the perfect shoe to wear because they're not heels. They are heels, but they're not like heels. They're comfy heels and you can just wear them all day long without your feet hurting. So I absolutely love wedges. They're just the perfect heel in my opinion. They're comfortable. They're beautiful. And with these gorgeous like ribbons, they just look so pretty i love them sorry i've just changed the set up a little bit because i felt very like i was doing a news reading or something like that because i was just so uncomfortable um so yeah i'm just picking things out the bag there's no rhyme or reason i'm just grabbing as i go um so it won't be in any specific order so the next piece i have here is a gorgeous dress this really gives me such boho vibes um this is from this is from the ASOS own brand as well, and it's just absolutely stunning. I think the material of this is just so feminine and beautiful. Do you know what I mean? It's just absolutely gorgeous. The way it flows down, there's a belt as well, so you can tie it round. I just love the way this drapes down. I think it is absolutely angelic. There is no other word for it. I feel like it's one of those pieces you need to see on to see how gorgeous it is. It is absolutely, it's just stunning. The way the material drapes, the quality of it, it feels so soft it just feels like heaven it's oh god the details on it are just absolutely gorgeous they are so this is such a stunning dress i cannot just i can't get over it this with like a tan so even these like wedges oh that's such a vibe your hair in like a little clip oh my god it's so beautiful this is such a summery dress i absolutely adore it I feel like it's one of those pieces that you can easily pop on some like flat sandals and make it quite casual or you could go with the wedges or a heel and really dress it up but I just absolutely love it. I think it's so beautiful. The quality of it is stunning and I can't wait to try this on. I've not tried it on yet so I can't wait to try this on because I think it's going to be absolutely just breathtaking. 
The next piece I have here is actually a jumper and you might be thinking, why are you buying jumpers in the summertime? I'm always cold, like constantly I'm cold. I'm never warm. And this is just a beautiful, beautiful jumper that I couldn't pass on. It's got these gorgeous balloon sleeves and little ruffles at the top just to give it that little bit of detail. I love the color of it, this like sandy nude. I love the balloon sleeves, it's just stunning. And then the back is actually an open back and it ties at the bottom into a lovely big bow. So I feel like it is a jumper and I feel like jumpers can be quite boring and quite plain, but I think this really gives it that like, I don't know, that little oomph. Um, I feel like this with like some black jeans and heels could easily be like a dinner outfit, if that makes sense. I've just recently bought the Dior Slingbacks in black. So I feel like black jeans with the Dior slingbacks with the open back with the big bow at the bottom is just absolutely stunning. It's going to be such a gorgeous like dinner outfit. Um, I wish I could like film it in the try on clips but I'm literally waiting for them to arrive. It's not arrived yet but they are, this is just stunning. This is like a really gorgeous soft thick jumper um, and it feels like really good quality. I think it's from the ASOS own brand as well. Yeah it is. ASOS, ASOS own brand is really doing things. It's really doing things guys. This next piece I'm not 100% sure on. Um, I've seen pieces like this all over Instagram and I love the look of them. I think they look really classy, really different. I love the structure, I think it just looks beautiful. But I'm not 100% sure if I can pull it off. It's this gorgeous bodycon dress. This is like a crepe, um, like, yeah, I'd say it's crepe material. Um, just like a really creamy ivory white. And then this is a really bright white shirt at the top. I don't know if you can really see, but it's got the detailing, like the um, underwire for the cups. And it does look really, really gorgeous. It's got that corset vibe, which I absolutely adore. I think it's so classy, so pretty, and really quirky as well. I love puff sleeves, they're so pretty and like, I don't know, I love like quirky things, like this dress has got kind of like puff sleeves. I love quirky little items on clothing, and this looks gorgeous, but I don't know if it can work for me, if that makes sense. There's another pair of shorts. These are from Join Life. I've honestly never heard of them before. Um, and they look like this. They are these gorgeous, strappy pink sandals. I'm not gonna take this, the uh, tags off these because I'm not 100% sure on these, but I do really love the color of them. Like I said, the pastels are really in. This shade of pink is definitely in right now. Um, it's croc again, it's just got loads of straps. And I feel like this really strappy sandals are something that everybody kind of needs in their wardrobe right now. And I decided to get mine in color because I've got quite a muted wardrobe. My friends always joke that I'm always in like blue, black, white. That's pretty much it. I don't really wear much color. Um, I have a few dresses that are a little bit colourful, but in general, I don't wear much colour. So I thought maybe having some colourful shoes would be a really good way to inject some colour into my wardrobe without it being, like, too much, if that makes sense. So this dress is absolutely stunning. It's from the brand Love Triangle, and I feel like it is just such a beautifully made dress. I love the detailing. This must have took so long to make. I love the floaty sleeves. I think they look absolutely stunning. I love the kind of Zimmerman-esque detailing down the middle and around the waist, and also around the hem. I think it just looks like a really, really expensive, beautiful, gorgeous dress. My only issue with this is where would I wear this dress can you guys give me any ideas because i don't know where i could really wear it um i feel like summer parties maybe like the races um things like that you could wear it too but you couldn't wear it to a wedding because it's pretty much white um i feel like i don't know i feel like it's a really really beautiful piece maybe like a birthday dress because it is absolutely stunning at christening maybe you could wear this too but it's one of those pieces that i don't know how often i would wear it it is gorgeous, it feels beautiful, and I think I'm gonna have to try it on to decide whether I'm gonna keep it or not, because, I don't know, it's one of those pieces that I might wear once and never pick up again, but I feel like if you have one of those lifestyles where you're constantly going to events or parties or things like that, it could really work. But for me, I'm just not too sure where I would wear this, even though it is absolutely beautiful. It really is beautiful. It's just, it's like a work of art. It's just absolutely gorgeous. The detailing that is on this, it's just textured all the way through. It's absolutely stunning. I mean, I, I, I do love it. I really love it. I can't wait to try it on. I'm so excited to try so much of this stuff on. So two less exciting pieces that I got are two pairs of jeans. Now I know jeans are very like subjective some people love certain pairs of jeans some people hate them like everybody loves the joni jeans from topshop but i absolutely hate them i don't like high-waisted jeans at all um i'm very much a low-waisted jeans girl um i think they're so much more flattering if i put high-waisted jeans on it looks like my bum is seven meters long it no it's just not it's just not on it's just not it's just not a thing for me 
doesn't work. I don't know if I'm too tall to wear them or what the deal is, but when I put high waisted jeans on, it looks like my legs are just like this. And then I've just got this tiny bit of body at the top. It looks so weird. I can't wear them. My hair is actually giving me anxiety. I'm gonna stop touching my hair now and just get on with it. So the jeans that I love, these are my favorite jeans. And I actually think I saw somewhere that low waisted jeans are making a comeback. Thank God, because I'm telling you something, it is impossible to find low waisted jeans. Hollister do them and um, Levi's do them. And Superdry do them, but other than that, I can't, I can't find low waisted jeans for the life of me. Um, these are the 7-Eleven skinny jeans from Levi's. Um, I actually got these in the wrong size. I got them in at 26 when I definitely should have got them in at 24 or 25. I don't know why I got them in at 26. I think I've just literally lost the plot. But they are a little bit too big on me, which is quite annoying. Um, I'm going to try and shrink them in the washing machine and just kind of like them a little bit because they are a little big on me. But these jeans are my absolute favourite jeans. I have them in um, white and blue as well. And these, they're just the perfect jeans. And I needed them in a pair, in a black pair, because my other black pair had gone faded, but they were like years old. Um, these are just the most beautiful jeans. They're really soft. They're not the type of jeans that like attract bits. You know those jeans where you get bits all over them when you sit on them and then your black jeans end up looking like white and dirty? They're not like that. Levi's jeans are just the best jeans out there. They are a little bit more expensive, but they're just so comfortable and beautiful. Um, and I, they're not the type of jeans that you want to take off. You know those jeans where you're like, oh my God, I can't wait to get these off. They're so uncomfortable. They're not like that at all. That's where they're my favorite jeans. They're so comfortable. I could sleep in these and be fine. Not that I ever would. Um, but I just love these jeans and I thought I would mention it. If you're looking for a pair of low-waisted jeans, definitely check out the Levi's 7-Eleven. Um, they work for long legs as well. As you can see, they're very long. I've got really long legs. Um, I'm like a waist 24, leg 34. Um, and it, whenever I say that to people, they're like, what? How are your legs 34 inches long? The next pair of jeans I've got are these ones. And these are the Kim jeans from Mango. Another pair of jeans I absolutely love. These are pretty much low waisted as well. I'd say they're mid rise, I suppose. And they are just a wax look jean. I feel like these are a staple in everybody's wardrobe as well. I love a good wax look jean. I think they're just absolutely perfect. The detailing on the back makes your bum look really good. Again, I've got these in a size too big. I don't know why I did that. I should have sized down in these and maybe sized down two in the Levi's. Um, but these jeans are just absolutely gorgeous. They're such good quality. They last for so long. They're just like the perfect wax jeans. I've tried so many different leather look, wax look jeans, and these just top them all by far. And the price point is absolutely perfect. I think they're about £30. The next piece I got is very much a casual, cozy piece that I needed. Um, this is from the brand Misha Lounge. I've heard quite a lot about this brand, um, but it really is a beautiful quality jumper. It is so, so soft. It's not as soft as it once was, admittedly. I have worn this a few times, but I just love the sleeves on it. I love the cut on it. I love that it's a blunt cut and slightly cropped. I think the sleeves really do just make it though, and the detailing in the knit is stunning. It is a very fine knit jumper, and when I got it, I was worried it would be the type of jumper that you can easily pull out of shape and wouldn't last very long, but I'm not really finding that. There's a little bit of a pull on the wool there, but like nothing major, and it is a jumper, so you are going to get that with knits like this but I just think it is absolutely gorgeous it's so comfy it's so soft it's one of those jumpers that you just need like throw it on with a pair of leggings or jeans if you're just running errands it's just one of those that you just need and it is really really soft and I didn't have anything like this that I could just throw on and I don't know why the next dress I have I have worn this a few times and it is in this gorgeous khaki green color I love the shape of this I love how the shoulders really come out quite wide because it then makes your waist look very small it's got a tie at the front and it also has a split leg I do find that you end up kind of the split opens up a little bit too much so I would recommend sticking on a pair of shorts with these that's what I've been doing um, just to make sure you don't flash anybody um, because it can ride open a little bit too much but I just love the cut of this I love the color of it I love how it's quite casual you can try this with like a pair of sandals or you can wear it with the wedges which is what I have been doing to dress it oh to dress it up um, but with some flat sandals it can be a really casual dress I just I think it's beautiful I love the quality of it it's kind of like a crepe material again and this is ASOS own brand again ASOS is doing so well guys when did this happen? So these next few pieces I got with the intention of wearing as a set. It's not a set at all, um, but I, I bought them all separately, but I wanted to wear them together, if that makes sense. So the first little thing I got is this tiny little um, crop top. This is again ASOS own brand. I think it was something like £12, really, really cheap. And it's just a tiny little crop top. It comes to like probably 
that much above your ribs you'll see in the triangle i don't know why i explained that to you um and it's just a tiny little tank top and then i got these leggings these are my all-time favorite leggings not for working out because they're definitely not workout leggings but just for like I was going to say fashion leggings, but I don't think you should really wear leggings out of the house unless it's like to walk the dog. Um, like I don't think you can really make an outfit out of leggings in my opinion, um, unless it's something really casual, just like walk the dog or like run to Tesco or something like that. Um, but these are my favourite leggings. They are from River Island. They are so high waisted. They've been making these for years. They're such good quality. I have a pair of these leggings from probably six years ago. And other than a hole in the knee that I got because I was like kneeling on the floor. That sounded really bad. <laughs> other than a hole, I'm gay, so it's not that. Um, other than a hole I've got in the knee from kneeling on the floor, they are in perfect condition. If I hadn't have done that, they would still be perfect. But they're just such good quality. They're really thick. They're like they are like fashion leggings on River Island's website, so they are really thick, they're very black, they're not see-through, and they're so comfortable, and they're so high-waisted, and they suck you in at the waist as well, which I just think is, who doesn't want that? Then I also got this beautiful long cardigan, this is from QED London, I think it says. I got this in a medium because they were out of stock in a small, but I thought, you know, hey-ho, what's the difference really? Um, I think a small was like, I don't know, an 8 to 10 and this was like a 12 to 14 or something like that. I can't really remember. It's not that big on me. Um, I'm usually an 8 for reference. I'm usually like a 6, 8, 10. It really depends on the brand. Um, I'm very rarely a 10, but sometimes I am. And in like H&M, sometimes I'm like 14 in their jeans. God knows what H&M does with their jean sizing. But I got this beautiful cardio. I love the length of it. I love the sleeves. It's such good quality. I've had so many compliments on this already and I've barely worn it. I've probably worn it two or three times. And every time someone's seen it or seen me in it, they're like, oh my God, where is that from? It's beautiful. And it's just like, it just works as a set, like a loungewear set. I love that it's quite neutral. It's really comfortable. And it's also put together. Like I can just stick this on with like Alexander McQueen trainers or my Gucci trainers. I haven't arrived yet. And it's just like comfortable and it still looks like a nice outfit because I feel like if you wore like Nike running trainers, it would be a completely different vibe. But because they're like, more fashion trainers it looks more like a put together outfit something that you can go walk the dog in nip to tesco in but also sit around at home and be really comfortable in so i really really recommend this as like an outfit i think i don't think it came to that much probably around 30 40 pounds i think that for a loungewear set where you can wear every piece individually is really really good because this isn't just a loungewear cardigan this isn't just a loungewear crop top and of course these are leggings you can wear them in like so many different ways so i really really love this as a set um, and I really recommend checking it out. Oh my god! Okay, I think we're about halfway through now. If you get to the end of this video, comment like a flower emoji, any flower emoji, and I'll know that you got to the end. Um, don't do it yet. Do it when you actually get to the end. Because I want to see how many people actually make it through. So, this next piece I got, and I thought it was very Zimmerman-esque. I've been looking a lot at the Zimmerman dresses recently and been I have been considering it um, because I do love beautiful summer dresses. I love the, I think it's the Dolce & Gabbana, I always get mixed up, Dolce & Gabbana summer dress. I think it's, um, correct me if I'm wrong, I swear it is, with the, like, the big sleeves and it's like very Italian looking. And my eyelashes are going into my eye. I love those dresses, especially for summer. I think they're just stunning. Um, but I saw this and it really reminded me. It just it just has that Zimmerman vibe. Do you know what I mean? It's just got like the detailing around the um, neck area, on the sleeves, around the waist, around the hem. It's just got a bit of a Zimmerman vibe. So I thought I'd try it, see how much I wear it, and then kind of decide whether I want to invest into a Zimmerman dress. Now, my only issue is it's got an open back. And I don't really like open backs on dresses where there's like elastic at the bottom because I feel like it looks a little bit cheap. Not cheap, but it just doesn't look like premium i suppose but other than that i love this dress that is my only like grievance with it i think it's going to be a beautiful fit i love the sleeves i think it's just going to be an absolutely stunning dress and something that i definitely don't have in my wardrobe currently i just love the detailing on it and as you can see it's got the similar um edging this is pretty much exact to the other dress that i showed you that nude one the detailing on it little circles at the bottom very very similar definitely similar inspired okay this dress makes me feel a certain way inside. I could, I don't know why, but I feel like I could cry when I look at this dress. And I, I know that sounds really odd and strange, but oh my god, I actually, I'm gonna tear up again. Look at this dress. Oh my god. 
Can you see that? And I, I don't know what to say about it. It actually makes me emotional. I'm not kidding. Has anyone had this before? Because I've never cried over a dress, but this dress is just so beautiful that it literally brings tears to my eyes. Look at it. It is a work of art. It is absolutely stunning. The hem is frilly. It's got this beautiful vintage pale blue. It's got these gorgeous little silver specks all the way through. It looks like a painting. It is artwork. It is li it is artwork. It has a gorgeous faint floral design in like a grey and white. Oh my god. I can't just look at it. Just look just take it in. I'll bring it close to you. Just absolutely Now, this dress is something that literally everybody needs in their wardrobe. This is from the brand Pull and Bear. Uh, my friend has quite a few pieces from them and they are all really, really nice quality. Um, this doesn't say the price on it. I think it was about £20. Um, and I got it in a size small, which is apparently a 36. This is a really, really beautiful quality dress. It's definitely like a jersey material. It's very like stretchy and floaty and frilly. It's got this gorgeous little frill down the front. Very casual, very comfortable. I really do love this dress. I think it's just so easy to wear. It's just something that you need in your wardrobe for those days where you're like, oh my God, I'm running out the door. What do I put on? This with some boots, this with some trainers. It's just so, so easy. Okay, so the next piece I have in here is a gorgeous, nudie coloured dress. This is again ASOS own brand. I don't even realise when I'm wardering how much ASOS own brand I get until it comes. So this is a linen dress. I'm pretty sure it's linen. I didn't look, but it very much feels and looks like linen. It's got these gorgeous split kind of like flute sleeves. And then it just drapes down into a gorgeous like wraparound dress. It's got a button. It's got a big um, tortoise shell bell. Is that bell no belt <laughs> i've lost a lot i love the look of this i really need to try it on because i feel like it's one of those pieces that can look a little bit naff when you're not wearing it but when you've actually got it on it will look really nice if that makes sense but i just love the look of it it's got pockets as well everybody loves a dress with pockets oh my god tell me they're real oh no r.i.p my hopes and dreams they're not real they're just decorative but i love this dress and i'm also losing my bloody voice i love the look of this dress online but i feel like it's one of those that you really do need to try on to see the full effect of it to see if it suits you um i love i love the idea i don't know if i'm gonna love it on but i do love the idea of it we're at the last piece now guys we've made it through the whole video the last piece is a beautiful almost cashmere feeling jumper i think this just feels absolutely lovely it's got the gorgeous sleeves again and it's like a wrap around jumper cardigan thing it's almost got like a ballet feel to it um i love the look of this i think it just looks gorgeous really luxurious something that you can throw on with jeans to dress it up to make a comfortable yet elegant and classy outfit i love the fact it's got a gorgeous bow at the just look at that oh it's so pretty it's just one of those pieces that i feel like you kind of need like i'm not the biggest fan of just like big chunky jumpers and just like throwing them on i love to have a little bit of waist definition and just like i don't know it's a little bit of like oomph there if that makes sense but this is just look at it it's stunning it's beautiful it feels incredible and it's just like you just need it you just absolutely need it you really do need it it's so like soft and like squishy and it's just something that you need in your wardrobe i definitely need it in my wardrobe at least and again asos own brand wow asos deserve an award is there an award for like best own clothing pieces because asos own brand has really like stole the show in this video they really have absolutely stunning i can't wait to try this on as well it looks so comfortable it feels so soft I, like i could sleep in this i actually could my neighbor's staring at me <laughs> okay so they are all of the pieces that i have to show you guys i know that this has been such a long video if you did make it all the way through don't forget to comment flower emoji and if you did you're a real one because this has been so long i hope you like this setup let me know if you do like it if you don't like it what your thoughts are i would love to hear them and let me know what your favorite piece is from this video um i honestly can't wait to try all of this on i'm about to do that now they everything just looks like stunning i can't get over it it just looks beautiful i'm so excited to try the blue dress on i've been waiting for this video to try the blue dress on it looks oh my god it looks gorgeous i'm actually gonna cry but yeah let me know in the comments what your favorite piece was and if you do want to check anything out like i said everything will be linked in the description for you guys to go check it out if you did enjoy this video please don't forget to subscribe it really really helps me out and leave a little like 
it just it really helps me so if you could do that that would be great and also follow me on instagram if you're not already i would love to see you over there um but yeah i'll see you really soon with a new video probably next week with a house renovation video bye